everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing and product tour of the Orange San Francisco mobile phone. Now this mobile phone is also known as the ZTE Blade. It's manufactured by ZTE and it is at the budget end of the market but boy am I glad that Orange snapped this one up. So let's get this mobile phone unboxed and then I'll run through some of the features. So we've got two little tabs to cut open of tape, one on this side and one on this side and that should now enable us to open up the packaging there we go, so let's show you what you get inside the box, well the first thing we're presented with is a top up card and then we've got some information about the handset little clue there, this phone runs Google's Android operating system comes pre-installed with version 2.1 there's a SIM card and then the main portion of the box well on this side we have got the mobile phone itself so I'm going to pop this to one side, I'll give you a closer look at that in a minute and have we got anything else under this section? looks like we have we have got hands-free kit, a USB cable with a micro USB on one end that goes into the phone and this end goes into your computer. Then we've got the battery and this is a 12 milliamp, sorry 1250 milliamp hour battery so decent capacity. Then we've got some instructions going to guide you through setting up the phone, get everything up and running and we've also got some more details, look at this in a second, what you can do with your San Francisco so this is a printed guide that Orange have put together about the phone's features precautions when moving the battery this is just some instructions on how to get inside the phone so you don't damage it and then in this side we have got a little charger, <laughs> this is a funny one, I haven't seen one like this before uh, 3 pin UK plug, little charging cable coming out of the top and then a USB connection, why on earth didn't they do a 3 pin plug with just a USB socket on it instead of putting this funny extension cable on, how weird is that but still at least you get the charger in the box so this is used for charging the handset, you can of course also plug the handset into your computer and charge it via a USB socket. So this is the handset itself, really nice looking handset and before I cover the specs and features I'm really going to urge you to watch until the end of this video because you will be amazed at the price that this phone is selling for. Okay so I've popped the back off of the uh, San Francisco put the battery in, got everything fired up, I just wanted to show you here this is where the SIM card goes and then in here this is where the micro SD card goes and we've already got a 2 gigabyte one in here and they include that with the purchase so let's pop the back onto the phone, you put the top on first and then just ease the rest of the back into place so let's give you a tour around the phone, first of all let's just uh, switch the phone on, it's already powered up and booted up, I just wanted to wake the screen up this is the screen, really nice uh, AMOLED screen, so three and a half inch capacitive touch screen very responsive to the touch very impressed with a screen like this on this price point device um, extremely impressed, now as I mentioned earlier it's running Google Android version 2.1 also known as Eclair uh, as well as this three and a half inch screen which by the way runs at 480 by 800 resolution inside you get a 600 megahertz ARM processor 80211B and G Wi-Fi Bluetooth 2 which supports A2DP stereo and 3G data speeds and there's 150 megabytes of internal memory so not massive on the internal memory but as I showed you, you do get a micro SDHC card included and it does support up to a 32 gigabyte card. Now, 
very quick tour around the rest of the device apart from this touch screen which you can gain access to all of your normal applications it scrolls nicely uh, very responsive you also get what looks like touch buttons down here but in fact they are physical buttons you've got one for the home button so I'll push that in now and that goes back to the home screen you also get one for the menu and then you also get this notification one here which also acts as a back button so if for example I've gone into my calendar and I want to go back one stage then I can just push the back button and it'll take me back one stage the little LED underneath flashes to let me know that I've got notifications as you can see here in my notification bar if I pull that down I've got new updates on my Twitter and also some warnings about not having a SIM card installed etc um, if I uh, clear those notifications then this little LED stops flashing rest of the device we've got a little speaker here for the earpiece on the top three and a half millimeter audio jack power on off button around this side we've got a nice clear silver strip and the USB connection around the bottom we've got the microphone pickup on this side we've got a volume up and down as well as another speaker for when you're playing back media and then around the back we've got the orange logo 3.2 megapixel uh, camera no flash which is a disappointment but for the price price it's uh, not surprising also just of note there if I rotate the phone round it does actually have an accelerometer built in so it does rotate everything around at a fair speed there is a little lag when you've got plenty of applications running but in general um, an extremely pleasant experience and I've only used this for probably about sort of 30 minutes to an hour now now the standout feature even at this early stage is the responsive touch screen if I go on to here for example and then perhaps scroll down and go into uh, YouTube launches nice and quickly again the scrolling is nice and quick the loading over Wi-Fi is slow for me at the moment but that's because I'm uploading a video to my channel but as you can see more than responsive touch screen I just can't believe you get a 3.5 inch AMOLED touchscreen on a device at this price and I keep keep on harping on about the price and now I'm going to tell you what this uh, San Francisco phone actually costs you can purchase this on Orange pay as you go for £99 in the UK that is an amazing price and I can't believe they've done a handset with this sort of specification for this sort of price okay it hasn't got a 1 gigahertz processor but 600 megahertz is fast enough please do check back on the Geek and Noise channel soon I'm going to be doing a full review and let you know how the San Francisco performs so do check back regularly that should be up on the site probably in about four to five days time possibly a week really depends on my schedule but please do keep checking back for that review until next time please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel Follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids, and of course, have a great day. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.